Who would have thought that the strongest OPM in the game is in the Baltics? Um, well, I guess everyone that played since the Domination DLC already know the capabilities of this nation since it was the time when it received its new mission tree. But anyways, today I will be playing the nation of Riga and attempting to make it super rich, developing the hell out of it to overcome the great powers of the game. Let's go ahead and begin. Alright, so what do we have going on for us as Riga? Well, first of all, let's take a look into our ideas. We have 10% development cost reduction from our traditions. Then down the line we have yearly papal influence, trade efficiency, trade power, some diplo reputation, a discipline, and even 20% manpower recovery speed. So these ideas are super balanced for trade and for military. And of course the 10% development cost will help us throughout this whole campaign because we will be developing the province of Riga many, many times. We also start as a archbishopric, which means we have an additional diplomat. So we can go ahead and start using these diplomats right away. I will be improving relations with Austria, with Lubeck, and with one of the Tonic Order's rivals. Poland, Brandenburg, or Provence. So for me, it looks like Brandenburg will be the choice. Let's see. Yeah, they're actually the closest of being our ally. Of course, we don't want to ally Livonian Order, because eventually they will be our subject. So let's go ahead and improve with Brandenburg. Our economy at the start is not that strong. We're actually losing money right now. So what I'm going to do is disable my army maintenance to save up some money. I'm also going to go ahead and send my barks to protect trade in Novgorod. Now we can go over to our estates. As you can see, we start with just 20% crownlands instead of the regular 30. And not only because of that, but because for one of the missions we will need to bump this up to 30 as soon as we can. I will not be granting any plus one point mana privileges to this estates. So the states will look like this. I will get religious diplomats, I will get clerical education and institutionalized clergy. Nobility gets a right of council. For burgers, I will go with nothing. Actually, I won't grant any privileges to burgers. We actually need to keep our influence lower than 50 and I do want to summon the diet. Okay, so what do we have here? Denmark's opinion, base production or base tax. Unfortunately, I don't have that papal option. Sometimes we can get yearly papal influence, which would be nice, but I'll go for the production option in this case. And right, let's seize lands. We do have 49 ducats, so I'm gonna use some of them to purchase indulgence. Not only we will get more papal points, but this will also greatly boost our relations with the papal state. And we wanna ally them eventually. Now we can go over to our decisions, get 15 papal influence. We can select our rival, which will be Livonian Order. Yeah, we're not really making that much money, so we cannot afford any advisors at this point. Instead, I will use some of this money to get a bark. Okay, so now it's time to basically speed 5 after getting our ear. And we can select some prestige, ducats, devotion, or papal influence. Or we can select a random option and not lose any estate loyalty. I think in this case I will be going for the ducats. This is gonna cost us 5 devotion, but that's not a problem. Of course we want to keep our devotion as high as possible because it gives national tax modifier, reform progress growth, yearly papal influence, and some other good stuff. But we are actually gonna restore our devotion to one of the missions pretty soon, so it doesn't matter. Let's go for this option. The air is okay, -ish. and now it's time to wait. While we're waiting, we can also bump up our province a little bit. We can actually invest some mill points and some diplo points. We want to get this to 15 development. And I'm not going to spend any admin points because with that, I want to boost my stability. Here we go, agenda completed. We do have over 75 relations with Austria now, so we could complete the mission contact with the Emperor. And this would allow us to join the HRE. I'm not going to do it yet. Because there is a downside to joining HRE, basically our government rank will be downgraded. As the maximum government rank in HRE is Duchy, it means we will be downgraded to Bishopric and we will lose that additional diplomat. At this point I want to use all my free diplomats, so I will click this mission once I'm done with improving relations. And there's really no rush for this. The only threat in the early game is Livonian Order and they usually don't go for us early on. And very soon we will also be able to get our first alliance with Brandenburg as well. So right now I'm gonna also improve relations with Poland. Right, as expected Poland has Lithuania under their personal union. So this alliance would be insanely insanely helpful. Basically we could use them in a war to get both Teutonic Order and Livonian Order at the same time because they are allied. Oh, this sucks minus 10 prestige. You know what I'm gonna do before that? I'm actually gonna use one of my diplomats and while I still have positive prestige, I'm gonna go ahead and insult one of Lubeck's rivals. That could be Mecklenburg. Let's do that. Here we go. So this increases our relations. It means we will get to 150 faster, which is another one of our missions. So now we can actually click this. 
We are pretty much at our maximum manpower. I'm gonna start recruiting some units. We do want to get up to our force limit, which is 7. And we have 150 relations with Lubeck. So this means we can actually recall the diplomat, move one of our merchants to Lubeck trade node. So I'm going to use this Krakow one. And we can complete connect with the Hansa. Plus 50 diplo power and 20 trade power in Lubeck trade node. Now let's move all our ships to protect trade in Lubeck. And right now we have only 1% of the share in this node. Now we can easily increase this. Well, now I'm going to actually go ahead and join HRE. Riga will become part of the Holy Roman Empire. And I'm going to simply go ahead and leave the Trade League. So now we will stop transferring trade power to them. And this will increase, I believe, to at least 2%. Yeah, here we go, 2%. We need 3%. And we also need 12 Mercantilism. So I'm going to go ahead and boost it right now. Let's boost it twice. All right, let's go. Some additional national tax modifier. Don't mind that. Can we ally this guy yet? Yes, we can. Okay, finally. Perfect. We have our first alliance. We're also in the HRE. So there's basically no threat anymore. We are safe. And how is it looking with Poland? When can we actually ally them? And can we ally them? It doesn't look so. I will try to continue improving... I think we can complete another mission simply by protecting trade here. This should allow us to complete the next mission. Yes, compete with the Swedes. 126 ducats. The second part of this tooltip does not matter. If the missions blah 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 are completed, it will fire. We don't care about this because there are a couple different missions in which we can get the same event. So we can click this right now. And 126 ducats means we can queue up more barks. I will queue at least two of them right now. Let's also go ahead and grab a general. Here we go. Now this actually allows us to complete raise Riga's defense. So we could get all these sweet bonuses and subjugation castles bellies on both orders. Not gonna click this yet. I'm not ready for the worst. It looks like we cannot have any prestige in this game. Which kind of sucks. And this guy is a babbling buffoon. I just hope he dies quickly. So now it's almost time to seize lands. Of course, we want to enable our units, enable our army maintenance, because we will need to fight some rebels since we do not have 50 loyalty for all estates. I absolutely forgot. Um, I'm going to boost my stability once now. This is going to give us prosperity and eventually we will need to have free stability to complete the best mission, develop our city. Minus 10 prestige as usual. All right, let's go. It's the 11th of November. Can actually summon the diet because this will increase our loyalty with nobility yeah sure we can restore our prestige seize lands and we're up to 30 percent which means we can complete the city against the state now this will grant us a cathedral which is a level 19 admin building and this amazing conditional modifier with so many bonuses and also as i previously mentioned this restores our devotion now we can also complete Papal Embassy. Riga will be the seat of a new cardinal. This also enables the war against heresy, Cassius Belli against all heretic countries. Since we are done with that mission, we can get some additional privileges. I'm gonna go ahead and grant all plus one mana points now. And it doesn't matter that we are down to 0% crownlands. The only negative modifier that we are actually getting is minus 20% tax modifier. Since we only have one province, we cannot have any autonomy in it. So the minus 0.40 modifier does absolutely nothing. Okay, what else I'm gonna grant? I will not be going for the loans because this would decrease our mercantilism. I will, however, get private trade fleets for cheaper barks. Promote burgers bookkeeping. Eventually, I will get allow burgers economic freedom, but not just yet because right now it would actually decrease our trade power. And I think for now that's it. Oh man, this Polish alliance is so far away. What could we do about this, man? None of these nations really interest me. I think I'm gonna rather just improve my favors with Brandenburg in the meantime. And Renaissance is now available. I'll take 50 admin for sure. I think it's time to purchase more indulgence. We want to stack up these papal points. And yeah, another bark has been built and now it's actually enough. We have 3% of the share and we can complete trade presence in Lubeck. Skill 1 trader 75% cheaper plus free mercantilism and the event religion as a business happens. 
So what I noticed about this event, you have of course two options. You can get this amazing government reform, which allows to place trade posts, form trade leagues, create trading cities, gives additional merchant yearly papal influence. But we also have this option, 50 government reform progress, 50 papal influence, plus one stability and 20 loyalty for burgers. There is absolutely no downside to selecting the second option. Like look at that, this government reform is available in any case. So we're gonna click this and then we can manually select this government reform and have all the amazing bonuses all together. So this is absolutely amazing. Of course, this new merchant we can send to Krakow to transfer trade power. And most definitely, I will grab this diplomatic advisor cost reduction. And look at this guy's cost, man. 0.22 ducats for level 1. We can upgrade him to level 2 right away. Less than 1 ducat for this guy. Oh my, oh my. Is this another stability event? I will definitely be taking this. And I'm interested. Can we actually get someone into our trade league? Not yet. We could get Gotland, Sax, Loenberg and Oldenburg. I guess let's start improving relations with these boys. Yeah, it's time to get Allow Burgers Economic Freedom now. It actually offers some really good bonuses. And I'm kinda maxed out on the privileges. I hope I will be able to cancel some later on. This was a bit bad planning on my part. I probably shouldn't have gotten patronage of the arts because now we cannot get these loans. But I mean, eventually we will be rich enough to actually not have any loans anyways. So I think it's not that bad. This, however, is not that good. I think I'm gonna sacrifice the Diplo points. Let's queue up some more barks in the meantime. Here we go, our first trade league member will be Gotland. And we can select our second government reform, definitely gonna go for additional merchant and global trade power. Let's send this guy to collect in Baltic trade now. And 30 ducats or 50 admin, please give me the admin. More trade league members. And one more. We are actually making 3 ducats now. This is so good, it's only 1453. You know what, let's use our manpower, let's get one more unit. Oh, our force limit is actually 11 now. Yeah, we want to stack these guys then. And you know what, Novgorod is kind of screwed. They only have 5,000 soldiers. I might be going for this war. Okay, we can select a new heir. Actually, please give me some papal influence. Let's go for that. And let's invest some papal influence into morale of armies. I want to make sure I don't have any trouble beating Novgorod. In one year we can start this war, because I still want to seize lands before that. Okay, I'm ready for the war. Let's declare. War against heresy. Let's move. Now, first of all, you guys give me mill access. Perfect. Actually, I didn't notice this. Poland is already friendly towards us, so after this war we probably can get this alliance. Sweet. Oh man, this sucks so much. A guild before country, so we can get rid of our trader and lose 50 admin or lose 100 admin. Super, super nasty because we don't want to lose this guy. I think what I'm gonna do is fire him and click the first option so we save 50 admin. Alright, Novgorod, time to meet your maker, boy. There we go. Get wrecked. Destroyed, son. This guy is trying to escape as well. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. So it looks like we don't have to continue this war because I can actually get everything I need. So one province from them, all the ducats and war reparations. Thank you very, very much. So this province will basically my will be in the future my gateway to releasing Novgorod from it once it's fully annexed by Muscovy, by Denmark, so we can actually reconquer its course. So let's go ahead and core it. Since we have so much cash now, we can of course get our boy back and I'm gonna actually upgrade him. Our alliance with Poland is secured. Now we just need to get 10 favors. After we have 10 favors, we can finally start a real war. So let's curry them. In the meantime, let's abuse Brandenburg a little bit. Let's get some ducats from them. And we finally completed our agenda for additional 50 admin. I absolutely love the fact that Denmark, allied to Livonian order, is not keeping their vassals loyal because Sweden is protected by Muscovy. Well, independence is supported, so they're super disloyal. So the only guy that will be helping Denmark will be Norway. It makes life so much easier. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Since we changed our government reform, we can actually start offering indulgence to nations. So look at this, we have 120 papal points. This will cost 50 each, but for example, if we click Poland, we will get 3 months of their income. So let's click confirm and see how many ducats we get, like almost 50 ducats. This is really good, we can actually select our naval doctrine with this. Let's go with ship trade power. I'm gonna do this with Burgundy as well. 
we can finally afford another advisor. Let's go with discipline. This kind of sucks, man. Plus one base axe is cool and all. But 10 additional influence for burgers, really, dude? I cannot go for the second option. It's way too bad and for 20 years. Oh, man, this is not good. Yeah, we have looming disaster now because of this. We somehow need to get these guys to be loyal. I mean, I guess we could summon the diet and go for the burgers option. We can try and complete this. Denmark is fighting Scotland. The Isles kill there and Turan sell. What the hell is happening? Are they gonna establish themselves in England? Denmark is fighting Muscovy. Holy, this is insane. Such a good timing. Now we will definitely start this war once we have 10 favorites with Poland. This is amazing. Also, let's go ahead and release our new subject, Novgorod. Oh yes, this is amazing. 5% more crownlands. Thank you very much. Our trader died. Oh no. So quickly. Please, we have this guy now. Let me go ahead and get him. Expand infrastructure here. I'm actually gonna develop this province a little bit. Let's develop with mill points and with some diplo points. We can get the renaissance a bit quicker. Hey, yo, boys, anyone want some indulgence? Looks like Castile wants some. This should be good. Three months of their income. 75 ducats. Lovely. Let me get two more regular units for myself. Boom. At this point, you know what? Let's go ahead and complete this mission. Let's get all these amazing bonuses and the subjugation Cassius Billy. We are absolutely good to go, boys. We can declare on Teutonic Order. Subjugation. Co-belligerent Livonian Order. Denmark is not even joining this war because of Muscovy's help. So it's only Mecklenburg, Magdeburg, Stetten. Of course, we can call in Poland and Brandenburg. I mean, this will be one of the easiest wars. And we will get some insane, insane rewards after this. Let's go. Okay, maybe fighting their navy was not the best choice. I actually lost one ship. Now, it's possible that after these wars, Poland and Brandenburg both will be really pissed off at us. So, I'm going to try to improve relations with both of them. Let's hope we can actually keep these alliances. Because I expect kind of a huge coalition. So, we need we need some protection after this. Oh man, another loose stability event. At least we get minus 5% technology cost. And pretty good timing because we will be improving all of our technologies as soon as we get Renaissance. Which will happen relatively soon. So, it's not that bad. Right now I'm just waiting for Muscovy to finish this war with Livonian Order. While they're at this war, I cannot really vassalize them. Well, looks like we can finish the war with Mecklenburg. Let's just ask them to steer trade, transfer trade power, give war reps. I'm not interested in flat money because most of it is going to our allies. No need to do that. Right, they peaced out. They actually took two provinces. These bastards, man. Now we do not have a connection to our province in Novgorod. Well, I guess we will be going for a reconquest war anyways. So you're not gonna escape, buddy. Right, let's speed this up. Let me bump Riga a few more times. Let's use some diplo points, some mill points. Here we go. Even expand infrastructure here. Now Renaissance is gonna appear super, super quick. And we have our third government reform. There are some amazing choices here. Like idea cost minus 5%. Missionary strength. We can go for advisor cost minus 15. Or average monarch lifespan. And new rulers would trigger an education event for future heirs. I'm really thinking between idea cost and advisor costs. I think I'm gonna go for advisor costs. We're gonna stack this with some other modifiers from our privileges. And of course this will allow us to boost our advisors to the maximum level quite early. So we can in return get more mana points, which should be better than the idea cost. Let's get additional 15 papal influence and start offering even more indulgence. Poland wants it, Brandenburg. Yeah, Poland would probably pay the most, so let's just sell it to them. Here we go, 60 ducats, beautiful. Of course, I'm gonna straight away use these ducats. We can start piecing out some nations such as Stedden. Give me war reps, give me trade power. Here we go. So yes, vassalization, all the ducats, thank you very much. Become our subject. We can go ahead and complete subjugate the Livonians. But you know what? Before this, because this is gonna grant us plus one stability, let's boost it up manually for 150 points. And let's take the third stability through this. Yeah, our vassals are not entirely loyal at this point, so let's go ahead and get at least strong duchies. I'm gonna placate this guy once. Mecklenburg is absolutely out. And this means that we can also subjugate Teutonic Order. Look at this coalition, man. Um, maybe let's not subjugate them just yet. I kind of want to wait a little bit, improve the relations perhaps with some of these nations in the bottom, like Berg, Ulm, East Frisia, and so on. Yeah, I think we'll be doing that. 
All right, let's go. This is a super good timing for this event. We could get 70 ducats, but you know, relations at this point will be much more beneficial. Hey, you know what? We're getting a little bit more monthly war exhaustion than I would like. So I think I will be finishing the war now. Yeah, we will have to suffer a little bit. But if we keep the alliances with Poland and Brandenburg, we should be fine. Let's go for this. Right, we can now complete Punish the Teutonic Order. 25 army tradition, 75 mil points. The event subjugation of Teutonic Order happens. And we can add them as a historical friend, get 25 prestige. Of course, we can use this prestige to placate them because everyone's quite unhappy right now. I think I'm a focus on placating Novgorod because our truce with them is actually already over so someone could actually start supporting their independence. On the other hand we still have truces with Livonian order and Teutonic order so they're safe. Let's pay off this guy's debt. Oh actually that's enough that's fine. So now we can focus on this dude and just improve relations from there. I think we're absolutely rolling. Let's rival this guy. Let's rival Muscovy and Denmark. And we should be even better off after we seize lands once more. Here we go. We actually lose another negative modifier. We only have plus 25 liberty desired from subjects development. Yeah, they're much more loyal now. Alliance is breaking Brandenburg. Okay, I see boy. Is there nothing we can do about this? Uh, yeah, there's pretty much nothing. So that's a bit unlucky. However, however, Poland is gonna break as well, it seems. Okay, so what do we do now? Can we actually ally someone that would protect us? Papal state we could get. And that's really about it. Okay, I don't like this at all. I don't like this at all. Let's ally papal state. I really want to get renaissance now. Um, Let's go ahead and select advancement effort. Yeah, they broke alliance. Okay, this is super bad. So Gotland is allied with Poland, I see. I think I must still ally them. Let's get this alliance. We could actually get Burgundy eventually. Do we want to do that? Or Austria perhaps? Um, we can, I guess, try improve them. Maybe if we got Diplo Reputation guy, that could help. I'm actually gonna go ahead and do that. Hey, that's not, that's not bad. We have a choice here. Let's go for the trader. Now let me develop this a couple times. I want to make it faster. Here we go. And here we go. Actually can embrace Renaissance now for one ducat. So this is excellent. Level 5 military, level 5 admin. We can select our first idea group. You know, we could of course go for exploration. But at this point we don't really have a way to colonize someone. The colonial range is quite far away. Well, the provinces are quite far away. We would need an establishment somewhere here in the North Germanic area. If we would want to do that. Trade and plutocratic are the options that I'm really thinking about at this point. Could also go for influence because we're rocking quite a few vessels. Okay, you know what? Plutocratic combined with exploration is quite sick. Plus 20% colonial range and 10 global settler increase. You know what? Let's go for this. Pluto first. Maybe second we will go for exploration. But now let's upgrade this to level 5 then. Go ahead and select our new units. I wonder if we can sell knowledge to someone else than Gotland. Um, we could actually sell it to Novgorod, Saxlenburg and Gotland. That's not good enough. Eventually, perhaps Lithuania? Ah, screw it, man. Let's just give it to these guys. Oh, wow. That's quite insane. Ottomans are already bordering Austria so early. They isolated Bosnia, Herzegovina and Serbia. Oh, they're going crazy for this expansion into Europe. They're ignoring the Middle East, it seems. How are these guys not collisioned? Right, this should be the last time we need to sell indulgence. So let's do this. You got one. Okay, it doesn't matter. Not that much money, but we can complete this mission sell indulgence because we sold it five times. Until the end of the game, we get yearly papal influence plus one and clergy loyalty equilibrium. Now this unlocks us dominate commerce because we have trade income of at least 50% and monthly income of at least 10 ducats. We get 5 mercantilism and for 25 years 25% trade efficiency. Looking absolutely fantastic. Our trade income is 72.9%. This is of course gonna change once we complete develop our city. And you know what? I don't really need this Diplo Rep guy anymore. No one's really willing to ally me like none of the nations that I really, really want to. Like Austria, it's a bit too far away for us. I'm just gonna exchange this guy to the cheaper trader. Here we go, let's upgrade him. 
All right, level six admin, level six military. Now we unlocked barracks and workshops. We just need to focus on getting some more cash and start building them because we're basically done with this most important mission. We just need buildings. We can actually get two or additional percent national tax modifier to this, sure. Basically, everyone is back to being super loyal. So I'm going to start enabling the divert trade. This is going to boost our income quite significantly. Now it's 848 and after enabling these two guys it's 10.93 and we still need to do this with teutonic order how is this looking we actually have the guilds which gives us 10 percent construction cost reduction but that is good that is what we want and we can actually go ahead and start building a workshop so it would be normally time to seize lands i think i will sell titles and seize i really really need the cash at this point and these negative modifiers are not that bad so let's go ahead and seize now we have some money so we can actually finish all the buildings that we need additionally i will upgrade the natural harbor here level 2 center of trade let's repay all the loans the balance is looking juicy Hey, look at that. Our looming disaster is pretty much solved. Because we lost some more influence, we just need to get this loyalty up to 40 and nobility's loyalty up to 30, which should not be an issue. And a politocratic coup is done. Okay, let's continue building. Let's get a marketplace now. And yeah, we have this option to dissolve Livonian bishopric for one stability. Or we can also purchase a Livonian bishopric for 100 ducats. This event purchase of bishopric would make us lose a lot more money, so I'm not going to do it just yet. Once we're more rich, we can absolutely do this and then complete the next mission, which is this one. But this is going to grant us some really good rewards. We'll need more transports eventually. I'll start building some. Oh, okay. So that is quite a huge loss. That sucks. Okay, let's boost our income even more. Placate this guy and enable divert trade. 13 ducats now, let's check after the month tick. And after the month tick, we have 17 ducats. And this amazing level 3 trader. I mean, we already have this level 2 guy 50% off. But of course, we have a alternative if he dies. Because that other guy is 32 years old. Um, Looks like Livonian Order dissolved the bishopric themselves. So we actually don't need to pay and we don't need to lose stability. We can go ahead and complete this mission right now. That's amazing. So yeah, I would recommend to wait until they do it themselves because it saves you so much money. And we get additional 10 development in Riga. Advisor cost reduction, liberty desire reduction, possible advisors, this is amazing. Look at that, we are already at 41 development. And yes, we have finished all the buildings. Develop our city because we have less than 6 provinces in Europe. We have free stability, we have all the buildings. We will get another 11 development and these absolutely stacked modifiers. Let's go. 52 development in 1473. Now yes, we can expand infrastructure first. And this is already 19 ducats. Yeah, we're making 40 ducats a month by having one province. Our force limit is now 40. Our naval force limit is 45. We can actually get a large army. And probably we could start a war with Muscovy. We could start a war versus Poland. Actually, before the war with Poland, I would still like to get another ally. Austria is still an option. Denmark is actually no longer a valid rival. So we can rival Poland. Everyone's leaving the coalition. Bohemia would love to be our ally. And considering that Poland is not one of Austria's rivals and it is one of Bohemia's rivals, I think this alliance would even be better. So I will ally Bohemia. Yeah, we're above our relations. That is completely okay. We can get two additional Diplo relation slots through this mission, the Knights of Riga. So we just need realistically to own these provinces. Now, is this a good war or would it be better to attack Muscovy first? Lithuania, Sweden and Gotland. I really don't like Sweden. They have 18,000. If we would attack Muscovy, Sweden is one of their allies. So we could break Sweden's alliance with Poland. I think it is more beneficial to fight Muscovy first because they are much weaker than Poland. So yeah, let me build up some army. We will go into this war. And I want to get another general because this one sucks. Um, That's a bit better. Yeah. Time to upgrade our advisors. This guy can be level 3. This guy can be level 3. Level 2 over here. The Burgundian succession. The emperor has inherited Burgundy. Oh my, oh my. So Austria is an absolute powerhouse now. I'm thinking about this. Uh, Norway is still a junior partner of Denmark. 
We could grab this ability, uh, transfer subject. Allows transfer subject peace treaty at a half cost and allows claims bordering claims. I think I will grab this and we have a chance to steal Norway from Denmark. So this could be another really nice subject to have. I have my ships, 37 of them. Let's get an admiral. He's really good, come on. And you know what? I think I will be going for this war now. Reconquest of Novgorod. Let's just go in alone. We can beat these guys. 38,000. They're one level above. We should be fine. But just to be safe, I guess we could get another mercenary group with a good general like this Lithuanian company. So let's get that. And let's go. Okay, we're demolishing their ships. And Muscovy, you're dead boy. Holy crap, Austria actually inherited Burgundy. Yeah, they're absolutely powerful now. We have 55 papal points. Let's grab additional morale of armies. I think this will help us. An additional 10 army tradition. This is good. This is really good. Oh my, 47,000 soldiers stack over here. Yeah, we gotta be a bit careful, I guess. I think while Sweden is here, I can actually try to occupy Stockholm. So I'll transport my mercs. Let's go. Yeah, Muscovy is marching here, so we can probably fight Sweden. Right, good stack wipe. I wonder if we can stack wipe this group. If my vassals would join, we probably could. Um, what's this? Let's take prestige, because we're gonna lose it. And this is looking good. Yeah, we actually stack wiped Sweden. They're down to zero soldiers. Barrage, Stockholm. He's gonna keep recruiting units, so I have to send some to Stockholm right now. Oh my god, this is crazy. Yes, please. So close, so damn close. Just two more occupations should absolutely do it. Oh, they're done. Break alliance, give me all your cash. Can I even take warreps? No, uh, doesn't matter. Let's not go with warreps, it's fine. Beautiful. I probably won't make it on time. Yeah, we lost the siege, that's fine. Now we're gonna absolutely destroy Muscovy. Let's start with this. Uh, didn't get here on time, but at least it's a stack wipe. Yeah, let's siege this down again. You're dead, boy. You're dead. Uh, I wasn't talking about my ruler, I swear. But I guess he's dead as well. I'll take some cash, sure. The air is trash, but that's fine. And we demolish the stack. And he's escaping to this province, so he should be dead? No, not yet. Oh my god, minus 20 advisor costs. It sucks that he will die quite soon. Because look at these costs, man. What are we doing, bro? Let's bump this up. 300 ducats, don't mind that. 200 ducats, sure. Level 5 advisors in 1478, that's completely normal. I mean, having this tier 4 government reform for additional local tax modifier plus 33% would be absolutely hilarious. But realistically, all estates loyalty and plus 1 diplomat is probably the better choice. I will go for this. Because having 2 diplomats kinda sucks, not gonna lie, so let's get that. Now we can upgrade our admin technology to level 7, which allows another idea group. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab exploration ideas. Let's bump this up. We can already get the colonist. I'm not gonna use him now, at least for colonizing. But we can, of course, use him to promote settlement growth. So each year we have 5% chance to increase this by one development for free. Well, not for free. He costs a little bit to maintain. But, I mean, it's still worth it considering this is so expensive to develop now. For our policy, I guess we can go for the regular one, plus 20 global settler increase. Sure, let's go for that. Oh my god, we're back again. We're back again, Muscovy. How are you doing, bro? Long time no see, buddy. Oh my god, did you miss me, bro? I think you missed me. I'm not saying that we just stack wiped 50,000 soldiers, but I think we just stack wiped 50,000 soldiers. That's pretty good, I would say that's pretty good. You guys can now go into siege mode. Everyone's leaving the coalition because we're a total powerhouse. I guess I would normally not give the money to Norway, but since I do plan to make them our subject, I guess I should. Don't want to lose 50 opinions, so let's do that. For our generosity, we're getting 50 admin points. Oh my goodness, poor mercantilism. Is that Poland? And Kazan. These vultures, man, they're actually using the opportunity that we weakened Muscovy so much. And they are sieging their capital now. Okay, these vultures, bro. Yeah, you guys can go explore North Atlantic at this point. Sure, go. Not really doing well with manpower. Let me grab this. Um, okay, I don't like this. Kazan is occupying Novgorod's course. If they occupy it, of course, I cannot give them back. So let's finish the war now. We can actually return all the course. Can we take any money? No. I am fine with that. Let's go. I wish I could have returned this course to Livonian order as well, but I am fine with this peace deal for now at least. 
All right, more Kremlins, please. Let's go ahead and upgrade this to level three. And I can safely say that we're the richest country with just one province. We're earning 50 ducats total income, which is just above France and the Ottomans. While we're at Ledger, I also want to compare myself to Poland. We have five morale, they have less than four, but they have more discipline. I think we could pr pretty much match them. But would this be enough with just Bohemia's help? Um, I guess we're kinda even. The problem is definitely manpower, so I'm just recruiting more mercenaries. Let's try to get a better general. That's even better, so we're good on that part. Okay, I think I'm ready to go. Now, I do have 50 favors with Gotland, so I could break their alliance with Poland. But honestly, this is quite a good province. I kinda wanna have it for myself. So I think I will just declare on Poland. I cannot go belligerent Gotland, of course, but... I still plan to annex them. This is gonna be just a bit more aggressive expansion. So let's use this claim and let's call in Bohemia. I'll send these 10,000 to Gotland with my best siege ruler and I think we can do this. Let's go. So let's transport these guys and with the rest of the boys let's start sieging. I want these guys to stick to me and not go on their own missions at this point because we are fighting quite big nations with insane armies so we need their support. So far, so good. We got this fort. Now, I kind of want to focus on Pomerania, get them out of this war. Three Karaks for 0% of the cost, 50% of the time. I don't need these Karaks right now. Just give me money. And yeah, this was really quick. We can finish this. Oh my goodness, these events are absolutely insane. I just got a new advisor and now we're getting the 50% cheaper one. Okay, sure. And we should be able to beat Poland here. Yeah. Absolutely destroyed. Okay, you guys go siege their capital. We're sieging down Gotland at the same time. What is he doing? He's still fighting Muscovy. He's super bold. Like, look at that. He's just standing there. I mean, I'm gonna punish him. Just need to finish the siege. Come on, fall at 35. Oh, man. Yes, we got it. So let's just get rid of this dude before he gets reinforcements. We should be able to do this on time. Look at that. Beautiful, they did not reinforce him. We have Teutonic Order, we have Livonian Order. I don't have manpower, so I'm probably gonna go ahead and consolidate these guys. And can we beat the 17,000? He has another 2,000 coming. I think we should ju be just fine here, so let's go for this. Here we go. We actually wiped them. He's down to 18,000. Lithuania is with 13. I mean, we're rolling. We're, we're completely rolling them. Here we go, another 5k should be stack wiped. This is absolutely amazing. Yeah, this is not the best event, but we have so much admin power that we can just go ahead and reduce our inflation. Bro, please don't get this at 21. Okay, we're still fine. We're still fine. That's right. That's what you get. Get out of here, bro. Anyone want some indulgence? Maybe you, Bohemia? How much money are they gonna give me? 60 ducats, I don't think it's really worth it at this point. We can probably start using the papal points for the abilities rather than selling it. We can take this now. Okay, I have managed to improve relations with all the members of the Trade League of Lubex. This mission can be done in two ways. Basically, you can do this via war. But I believe this reward might be better. Because we improve relations, we get 100 Diplo points. And for 25 years, plus 1 Diplo reputation and 20% improve relations. There we go. Now we need ourselves to have 6 countries in our Trade League. Oh boy, this would be quite a good modifier. So this trade league has been disbanded, which means we should be able to invite our own nations. We need to finish this war. What the hell do we do with admin points? I guess let's continue reducing this. Okay, Gotland, so you will become a part of my empire. 20 aggressive expansion, okay. There's a few nations in the coalition. I'm willing to take this. And let's just go ahead and finish this war. So I'm giving one state to Livonian order and one state to Teutonic order. I guess it doesn't really matter to which order you give these provinces. I just want to split them evenly. So here we go. Thank you very much. So right now what we need for this mission is just the province of Latgalia. Which means we will need to fight Muscovy one more time. But for now, that is it. I don't want to make this video too long. We already achieved quite some amazing stuff with Riga. Of course, we are the richest nation earning 362 ducats monthly. Nah, nah, I'm just kidding. This is gonna go down after the month tick. There we go. This is more realistic. Ottomans are actually making a bit more money than us right now. 
We are climbing the ladder. We have 219 development combined our own and subjects. We have 52 development in Riga. We completed most of the mission tree. We can still invite a lot of members to our trade league. So maybe let's do this. We can actually invite Lubeck. Let's do that. Hamburg, Rugen, Bremen. And we can actually complete another mission which is lead the league of Riga. 10 trade efficiency and 25% global trade power until the end of the game. Give me this guy, let's make him level 5. Yeah, that's more like it. Now we can finish the video since we are the richest nation above the Ottomans. So yeah, I gotta say we're doing pretty well. Now that will be it for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to click the like button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. And I want to say a huge thank you for supporting the channel on Patreon to Voino.